Hey guys, it's Holly from Holly's Hobbies and today I'm just going to do a quick video tutorial on thread jointing. Um, there are numerous ways that you can do jointed limbs on Imigurumi. I prefer thread jointing in most cases um, because it's quick and easy and you don't need any extra supplies. You just need the, uh, the thread or the yarn, um, your needle and your thread. Um, so you don't need to worry about uh, purchasing joints or extra safety eyes to put on the inside of the arms there. So. Um, this is just going to be a quick overview of what you'll read in the patterns, um, in my patterns anyways, of, of how to do uh, the thread jointing. So just start off by locating the round number um, that you're going to be putting the arm into. Uh, in the pattern it usually indicates what, your, what uh, round number of the body you'll be working through. So just locate, um, turn the arm on the inside there and locate the upper inside. Um, it should be about one to two rounds from the top. Um, guide the yarn through uh, about one stitch apart. Um, Leave about a three inch tail, um, just let it sit there. Then you're going to line up the arm onto that round number and then push the yarn through all the way through to the other side there. Right, um, you're, you're going to bring the yarn out on the other side where the other arm will be, uh, will be positioned there. So just guide that out there. Again, just let that other arm sit there. Don't worry about pulling anything flat or, or tight, sorry, uh, yet. So then same thing that you did for the first arm on the inside of the arm, about one to two rounds from the top, you're going to draw the yarn through about a stitch apart. There we go. And then just pull that through. And then you're going to guide the yarn back in through the body there about a stitch away from where that yarn or where that um, that string originally came out there. So got it right back through the body. I have a dowel <laughs> supporting the neck on the inside of the doll so it's making it a little difficult for me to bring the uh, the needle through there. So there we go. So just drive that through about a stitch away from where the original insertion of the uh, the needle and the thread was. stitch away there. So pull that through. Now for thread joining I like to do um, I'd like to do the process about two to three times um, just for extra strength uh, strength and support. Uh, it's not necessary if the doll is just going to be on display um, but usually if you're giving it to a child or you plan on you know actively using or moving the arms. I, I usually recommend um, repeating the process about two to three times just for that extra support. Um, so if you're going to do that, uh, you're just going to draw the yarn exactly where you put it through the first time there. Um, try and get it in the exact same holes that you originally used. So just through the arm and then you're going to put it straight back through the body. Come out on the other side in this try to get it in the same holes or very very close to that you originally did there. Again don't worry um, if the arms are a little bit floppy on the sides yet. Uh, after we're done here we're gonna pull it and uh, and make the arms snug to the body here. There you go. You can just pull it a little bit there and then you're going to draw the yarn through the arm again and back through the body right to where you began. There we go. So once it's pulled through here, you can pull um, both ends of the yarn a little, uh, not too tight because then you're going to get a really big indentation at the top of the, the shoulders there on either side of the body. You don't want it squeezed in too much. Um, just pull it firmly enough that the arms are, are snug to the side and there's no massive gaps between the shoulders and the, the body itself. So then just go ahead and I usually double or triple knot it um, and then weave in or hide the tails within the body of the doll. So once everything's done there and the things are hidden, this is the uh, the thread jointing. You have totally uh, full range of motion of the arms and, uh, and it makes for a much better looking doll. Thanks so much for watching guys. Take care.